Well, I think the idea of eliciting a, an emotional response from people is ultimately what one hopes to achieve. And uh, whether the work is abstract or not, if it is abstract, then um, I tend to think that uh, people are more or less uh, forced into a position of, of measuring themselves against what they're looking at. What had attracted me about abstract art was that, for one thing, it's a wonderfully risky business. Uh, um, it's, it's both demanding to make and it's demanding on the viewer. But if people have the patience on either end of that spectrum to deal with it, it can be the most powerful and kind of direct experience. You know, I came out of an era of uh, what I call Victorian art appreciation, where they hung a black and white mie on the chalkboard wall, and you had to write uh, 25 words or less before recess about, uh, uh, about well, it's enough to Ab absolutely damage anybody's appreciation for a painting. Having grown up, or having gone to school in Regina uh, with teachers that had um, uh, have been to the States, at least for part of their, their own education, uh, I suppose it predisposed me to an interest in American art that uh, uh, might not have been the case if I'd gone elsewhere. Roy Cayuca also joined the staff at one point and uh, it was his enthusiasm for Mexico, for example, uh, that uh, uh, persuaded me to go there. But um, Art Mackay wrote and uh, encouraged me to come back in time for the Barnett Newman workshop. Went to New York the following year for a year and uh, forgot to come home. Well, one of the things that attracted me about New York was uh, Mind you, it was through reproductions and the art magazines and not any actual contact with their work in any physical sense, but I was very taken by the direction that, that the New York School represented. And uh, um, it was, it was uh, to my mind, the most powerful painting that was being done. And, uh, and that was part of the motivation for going to New York was to see it firsthand.